Hey everybody, Bess McCarty here with the Ask Bess Show today. I also have a little mascot with me because I'm talking about inner child today. And I have five stories for you. So inner child work is um, to, to it's when we, we heal the wounds and hurts and old negative programs left over from childhood that carry into our lives today. It can affect our current lives, um, the lives of our children. We can pass on traits. It can affect um, our coworkers, relationships, um, our whole lives. So it really is a, a great, smart thing to do to go back and heal these things that might show up today in our lives as procrastination or avoidance of intimacy or um, not believing we deserve success, lack of confidence, any of these things. Many of them can be traced back to what we learned or saw as a child. And uh, so it's good bet to go back to these things. However, it's not always easy. <laughs> it can be quite scary to the inner child that still resides inside of us because these negative patterns were created in a place of pain. And we, to be able to heal it, we have to go back to that place with love and have the courage to do that. And it's often easiest with a guide. That's why I'm leading inner child classes now online and we have one starting up in January. So I'll post a link to that. And, um, but if you get this during any other time of the year and wanna call me and inquire about it, any current classes starting, feel free, feel free to do that. You can find that at bestmccarty.com slash inner child class. I'll also post, post the link below. Okay, so for my stories today, some examples of how this inner child negative programming from the past can bleed into our present and our future. There was a man who, these are all client stories I'll tell, plus my own, but there was a man who came because, or was referred by his chiropractor because he had a car accident about once a year. And we took a look, you know, he said, I think there's something psychological connected here. We took a look and sure enough, his father had put him down in his life. You know, you don't deserve, you'll never get success. So whenever he started getting successful, he had a car accident so that that prophecy could come true. With one session with me, he said, with this work that I do, he said that it got him farther in one session that three years of psychotherapy did. We did a few more sessions and he has not had a car accident since, since I'm happy to report. Another client had a fear of heights from what occurred to him as a child. And it bothered his whole business life. He couldn't go um, in downtown cities among high buildings or go up in elevators. It really put a hamper on his professional life until we worked together. And he said, I've seen the, you know, you've got me farther in one session than the, than the past experts in my town, the top experts in my, in my big, my large city were able to do. We did a few more sessions and he said that that took care of it. I'm able, you know, as late as it was in his life, he said better now than never, but I'm now at last really grateful that I can go downtown among the buildings, ride up in an elevator, or even drive among mountains, <clears throat> drive through mountains. So he's very happy to have that, that programming changed. Uh, another man who had been, oh, had a cruel father who had put him down a lot and he didn't believe that he deserved success, you know, in his own eyes or in God's eyes. We did some mental clearing work, which includes very deep inner child work, mindset clearing. And we, this was a two hour process, the mindset clearing <clears throat> with preparation and with homework to follow up. But right after the clearing, he said, um, it's completely shifted me, I'm now, um, making all my calls. I'm now doing everything that I procrastinated do it, not doing before. And he went on to become a great success. So another success story. Another lady, <clears throat> her husband, she left her husband because he was very, very cruel. And it wasn't a pattern after her father, it was patterned after her mother, her experience with her mother and what she thought that she deserved in life. So this is getting cleared out now. She's just blooming and quite a joyful, beautiful person. Myself, I have had some old oh, stories myself. When my son was an infant, I learned that your child of a certain age can trigger, the children that you have can trigger the, the inner child programming, the negative programming that you may have had 
at that age too. So when my son was little, he would wake up and nurse in the night and go back to sleep, but I would be left awake crying and heartbroken and lonely. And I didn't know why until I asked my mom, were we left to cry alone in the crib? She goes, oh yeah, that's what they told us to do. If the baby's not wet or hungry, then let them cry it out. Let them cry themselves to sleep. And so I did. <laughs> I carried that pain of that heartbreak and loneliness. And this went on night after night after I nursed my son and I would feel this great pain until one night in a vision, a great big bosomy grandmother came and rocked me and loved me. And I began to feel this heal. This was a gift that was given to me. I didn't make it up, but I learned from that that I could envision exactly what I craved and begin to heal my own inner child. Some other patterns that, um, that I've run into, well, I'll, I'll cover those more in the inner child class. I'll share more stories uh, from my own life, but those are some of them. And the class will be in January based on John Bradshaw's book, Homecoming. Each class opens with preparation for that stage. We cover the five stages of childhood, infancy, toddler, preschool, school age, and adolescent. So each of the classes we get together in an online group. I used to conduct these live in San Diego years ago. And people just loved them. They're so heart opening. They always had, we always brought tissues. But the online class will be like that, only um, online. And we begin each class with a guided meditation back to that childhood stage. Then the groups hear its positive affirmations from each other about that stage that maybe they didn't get to hear or maybe they've been longing to hear. Then they share how that was for them to hear that. And then we have preparation for the next stage. It's very powerful, very um, heart opening, very, very deep work. And if you're interested, love to have you check it out. The link is below, bestmccarty.com inner child class. Thank you for subscribing, sharing, commenting, liking. I appreciate maybe someone else can benefit from this. We'll see you next time. Everybody take care. Bye-bye.